everyone! So about a year ago, uh, me and a couple of other booktubers held something that we called Japanese June, which was to celebrate our love for Japanese literature. We read books throughout the month of June, talked about Japanese literature, and just tried to promote some books that you might not have heard of before, written by Japanese authors. Well, we're not really officially doing it this year again. I had been kind of toying with the idea in my head of doing another Japanese June, and so it's not quite official, but I thought I would let you guys know that yes, I am planning on doing um, my own little Japanese June. June, reading some things that have been on my shelf uh, for either not very long at all or things that I've been kind of kicking my feet about and not really wanting to read and just trying to read a bunch of Japanese authors because I haven't read anything by a Japanese author in a while. I still really enjoy Japanese literature and I wanted to give some of my time and attention to it. So I thought I would share five things that I was thinking of reading for Japanese June this year. First, this came in the mail yesterday. When I found out this existed, I immediately wanted to buy it. I kind of waited for a little while, but I just couldn't wait any longer because I'm so excited about it. And it is called The Face by Ruth Ozeki. I've read all of Ruth Ozeki's novels. That makes it sound like it's just a really big accomplishment. It's actually not. She's only published three novels. I would love so much for her to publish more. This is actually a work of nonfiction. It's really, really small. This tiny little book is only about 120 pages or so. It is a piece of nonfiction that Ruth Ozeki wrote. It's sort of like an essay, I don't know, it's her contemplating her own face. She looked at her reflection in the mirror for three hours and just wrote things that came to her when she was trying to observe as much as she possibly could about her own face. I think that sounds fascinating, especially coming from an author like Ruth Ozeki, who I think has so much insight into humanity and identity, and I think that her perspective is quite unique because she's actually a Zen Buddhist priest. I just, I have, I've really, really enjoyed everything that I've read by her, particularly A Tale for the Time Being, which I consider among my favorite books, but I would love to see what she can do with nonfiction. I think this will be really quick and really insightful, and I'm, I'm hoping to love it. Next is a book that I'm hoping to buddy read with Brittany from Under the Radar Books, and it is Fudoki by Kaige Johnson. This is a book that I just got, but it has been very long anticipated. It's not a book that I ever expected to find in a bookstore because it's not I mean, really, really well known. So when I saw it in a bookstore, I had to have it. I've been wanting to read it for years now. I'm, I'm hoping to really love it. I, I'm not really sure exactly what it's about. I know that it takes place in like Heian era Japan, focusing on a female warrior and also something involving a cat spirit. That's pretty much all I know about it. I'm really hoping to love it so much. I'm so excited about it. This is also something that I recently acquired a little bit different. It is called Nijigahara Holograph by Inio Asano. It is a standalone manga, which is not something that you see very often, so it reads right to left. I'm really excited to read this. I've heard really great things about Inio Asano. This is supposed to be like a psychological horror manga. I'm not exactly sure. It's supposed to be David Lynchy, and that's pretty much all I know about it. In typical manga style, you would read this panel and this way, and then you would go to the left, and then the pages turn this way. That's how Japanese books are traditionally read. It was definitely a cover by, definitely a splurge, but I'm really hoping to enjoy it. Next is a book that I've been running to read again for a really long time and I've had it for quite a while also. It is Grotesque by Natsuo Kirino. I read Out by Natsuo Kirino probably about three or four years ago now and absolutely loved it. And then I read The Goddess Chronicle by her and I thought it was okay. I think that my problem with The Goddess Chronicle is that it was very much about Japanese folklore and I'm not super familiar with it so I don't think I got as much out of it as I could have. Out, as well as this, are works of her crime fiction, and I, I think that that gelled with me a little bit more. Hidino focuses a lot on women in modern Japan, and particularly focusing on social issues that women face. That's a lot of what Out was about. Women dissatisfied in their marriages but feeling trapped, and so I'm hoping that this is very much the same, exploring women it, women's issues in the landscape of Tokyo. I find that to be completely fascinating. I just love exploring that, learning about that, educating myself. And and her crime fiction is gr really gritty and I really enjoyed it. So I'm hoping to like this as well. And lastly, of course, I don't think I could do a Japanese June without involving a Murakami novel. And so I'm going to read Wind and Pinball. I bought the UK edition because the US one is just hard horrible. It's the new editions that I hate so much. So I'm not exactly sure what these novels are about. I know that they're Murakami's first two novels. I know that he really didn't want them published in English again because 
he didn't think that they were as solid as the rest of his work. They're his first two novels, so he didn't feel as secure about them and, and for a long time prevented them from being repr reprinted in English because he didn't want them to be read, so I don't know why they actually exist, to be honest. The fact that he doesn't think them to be his best work I don't think deters me at all. I'm really interested to read more works like Norwegian Wood, which I think these books are supposed to be more uh, similar to that, where it's not ma a lot of magical realism, it's a lot more about just people and 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 life. But I have not read a Murakami novel since last June, I'm pretty sure. So it's been almost a year and I, I would really love to just get back into that world because I love it so much and there are a lot of Murakami novels that I have yet to read. I've read about nine of his things but I would eventually of course love to read them all. So yeah, I'm really excited to read this. I mean my expectations are kind of low because, because they are his earlier works but I don't think that I'm not gonna like this. With his realistic stuff, it can be a toss-up, because Norwegian Wood is my favorite of his novels. But then, Colorless Sakura Tazaki and His Years of Pilgrimage, which also didn't really have any magical realism in it, is like my least favorite of his novels. So it could really go either way. Um, I'm hoping to love it. And if nothing else, I get to be back in Murakami's world, and that's enough for me, because I haven't hated any of his novels. I love the feeling of being in his world. It really reminds me a lot of having actually been in Japan, and it's a feeling that I'm always looking for, so... So, I'm excited! And of course, as always, you'll hear my thoughts on all the books once I have read them. So yeah, those are my thoughts for Japanese June. I really hope that some of you participate, uh, at least read like one thing by a Japanese author. I've said it a million times, I think that it's really important to read diversely. I love educating myself through literature, finding out about perspectives and, and people and cultures and life from, from books I think is such a great way of, of learning. And, and escaping, and I, I really, really enjoy it. I would love to see more people participate. If you have any recommendations for me for Japanese literature, I'm always looking for those because I don't know everything. There's a lot about Japan that I don't know and would love probably to learn about. So yeah, if you have any recommendations for me, please leave them in the comments. And other than that, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.